you substitution is quite a particular method. Either you can use it or you can't. And to use it, you need the derivative of the inside function to be hanging out over here. So suppose you have x squared times the sine of x squared. You cannot use u substitution. The derivative of x squared is 2x. And that isn't what we have here. There's nothing to be done about it. The only exception to this is if we almost have the derivative and are only off by a constant. So the derivative of x squared is again 2x. And we don't quite have 2x, but we're really close. We've got the x. We're just missing a 2. We can deal with missing constants by simply inserting them. And sort of like completing the square, where you add a number and then subtract it, the way we get away with this is by inserting the two, multiplying by two, but then multiplying by the reciprocal by one half. So you're not changing anything. And if we now recall a property we called linearity, it says if we've got constants, we can pull them out of the integral. So this one half can come out. like so. And now we can use u substitution. This, this was not done purposely, but I see that now that this is exactly the same example from the last video, u equals x squared du equals 2x dx. One half the sine of u du equals one half the negative cosine of u plus c mm 
equals one half the negative cosine of x squared plus c. And one thing requires comment. We're going to distribute this one half. However, we don't write things like this. Our rationale is as follows. C is a completely arbitrary constant. It could be any real number. So one half C is a completely arbitrary constant. It could be any real number. Ergo, since this one half isn't really doing anything, it does not need to be written in.